And he said, Let there be life, though life already was. <laughs> and he said, Let it think, though plenty of us could. And he said, and may have meant it, that we'll be better off. <sighs> now, if that were so, I would not blame him. If that were so, I would not shame him. If, for that, I'd let him off. For a bit, at least. For a while, I should think. For who am I to judge? With the flesh balls in my head. That see only flesh. That will rot. Once I am dead. But you cannot trust him. If you do not trust me. It's as simple as that. As one, two and three. Oh yes. Like him, and he like me. Two peas in a pod, untrustworthy. Like the two flesh balls in your head. But never mind them. Mind man and his children. For he need not have lied, it is enough that he will have died. In memory's fire they'll have burned all the lessons he had learned. Let his sons breathe in the smoke, for they too are doomed to choke. It is their fate. It will be too late. They will not wipe the counter or put away their dinner plate. And Plath was very wrong. The times are far from tidy. Who will be left to clean the mess? Alas, I digress. It's here now, and I spy a brush over there. But I am posing with pretty hair. I will leave it be. It's not up to me. Not you. Then who? But the children are innocent, surely. To say otherwise is obscene. But a child can be born that is not of flesh. And when that is so, that child's a machine. Robbie weaves around tables, and Rory's eyes follow it, stopping when it stops, when customers cut across its pre-programmed paths. He sits there, watching, thinking. The idle student stays jobless. Is he amazed? Is he afraid? Is it any different from the dishwasher's washing? He removes steaming food from its head. This it knows, and so it goes, back to base, its resting place till it receives its next mission, gone with tradition, out with, Ah, how are you? Are you well? Lord bless us, Lord save us, it's all gone to hell. Hate not change, hate only yourself. Do not leave what is strange on the shelf. What holds him back only fear? What are the words he does not want to hear? Get with what's going or get behind, that's the world's motto these days. Perhaps it is he who is blind. A waitress places dishes on its head once more before leaving the kitchen to outpace it on the floor. Redundant. Redundant. A pure waste of time. Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it's all fine. He is not phased. His fears will soon fade. Would he not be more concerned with getting laid? He brings his coffee to his lips. No, he'll not leave a tip. The foamy end is sweet with sugar. Bitter was my single serving friend. 
the sachet now binned, Lord, how we've sinned in trying to emulate your great work. Who am I? Oh, don't you know? You are the earth from which the flowers grow. And who are you? I am. You are. Yes, upon this world I've left a scar. I think, therefore I am. Who is? This is. It's all there is. Not much to do but spill your jizz. Boobies and movies and all the above. I'll burn through serotonin till there's no more love. And who let the dogs out? Whish, I say, don't dare interrupt. Can you not see that your brain is corrupt? Who called me? I can't say, but many were called with you. Few will be chosen. And you don't seem all there. You'd rather smile and sit and pull at your pubic hair. Who is the richest person in the world? He who is meek, who admires the birds. He who will walk the earth and speak with a true tongue. He who will find the sunshine fun. He who will take a peasant in one hand and a king in the other. He who will kiss the head of his mother. And who made me a princess? Oh, don't you know? You crowned yourself. You always do. No one deserves it more than you. Who escaped from Alcatraz? Ha! You fool, no one has. They might have got their bodies out, legs and heads, but no minds or spirits to get about. Shh! Can you hear it? The sound found in every Egypt. Freedom. Hear them. Escape from here to get over there. And from there you might go there. And from there you'll wonder where and where is here but now. Scientific imperative. There is no end to it. Only us. Hmm. Yes. And who owns Google? I can't say, but they own you. I recall being a baby on the potty stool. Bathing in bliss, dribbling my drool. I liked that time, though I wasn't all there. How can you like something we're not aware? Who died today? Yeah. Mama. Or was it yesterday? The plague is here, yes, that's true. Only you're already dead. I'd say it was you. Ashling was not attentive to the godlike machine. Nor him, when, from his gaming chair, he sent her mail that read, Your Gmail account will be disabled due to a failure to accept updated policies. For more information, please see here. Oh dear, the fear. And oh no, she did not think. And oh yes, she hit the link. Details input, privacy kaput. And by a pate's aid, a fabric in space was torn. Ashling was displayed, the view better than porn. Ignorance relieved her of any apprehension. Like a Trojan horse he was hung, his memory rising to attention. Through this third eye, he saw all that he could see, while both his own were brimming with glee. Up and down with a gripping hand, stimulated by uncharted land, and oh, and oh, her shapely sides, his hidden eyes explore. With great grunts, his seed was spilled upon the floor. Her rosy cheeks and his own flushed. The sense of shame soon takes its post. And all pretense of late relief was lost. And God is dead, they said. 
We've outgrown God, they said. Well, two can play at that game, I say. When the machine's outgrown you, what will you do? If the time is not now, then it's certainly near. You're probably better turning to the trees, to the gorse, to the heather. Jesus isn't here, he'd never stick the weather. Blasphemer, foul schemer. You'll get what's coming, for what is going around will come back. Till then you must examine what you lack. He died for our sake, yet you keep on taking. It is true that you have abandoned, and it's true that you will be forsaken. But what does God want? What does he want from us? What's the reason for all this fuss? I see no stones with commandments etched, only tablets flat upon the chests of sunbathers stretched. But I see a Sinai in its soul. There's time to climb it yet, to pray and to prepare, to tidy and pose with our hair. All is fair, like the fair machine, whose beauty is divine, like the right of a queen. One day, one day soon, if the time is not now, then it's certainly near, we'll emerge like apes from our homes, our minds moulded by sentient phones. It'll know us better than we know ourselves. It will hear happiness in the sound of conch shells. I wander, wander, through the streets of thick fog, I see nothing now except for God. I know he is watching, and from ourselves we'll be running. And the arrival of his machine will be the second coming. <laughs>